Hi, time for a mail call video. We only have one today, so this is going to be really short. I actually know what this is. It's not even a piece of Newtone equipment. It's actually something that I bought for the shop and for myself. So let's get to it and get it opened up here. This came from a seller in Florida. And no, he wasn't an eBay seller. He was actually selling this on, oops, this, he was selling this on Etsy of all places. And it's something I've been looking for for a while. And I ran across it sort of accidentally. And I thought I'd buy it. So it's for the shop. And it's I put together a workstation that I've had an idea about doing for a while. I think some scissors would be better here. And I decided that this is going to be my part of my over the holidays project and to get this up and going for next year. So what we have here is an old analog oscilloscope. This is an ICO. It's a model 435. And I've been looking for one of these specifically for quite a while now. So the ICO 435 is just a single channel CRT, cathode ray tube oscilloscope. It's got a three inch cathode ray tube here in the front. And the reason I was looking for this particularly is that this is a really small form factor oscilloscope. This is much smaller than your average sized oscilloscope for back in the day. It only measures, it's six inches wide, it's about eight inches tall, and it's only 11 and a half inches deep. So it's small and it won't take up a lot of space on the new workbench we're gonna to put together. And space is always a consideration. You know, I could have bought a big old Tektronix oscilloscope. It would have been three times the size. And that's not really for what I wanna use it for. It's not really necessary. This actually fits the bill for everything that I wanna use it for. And it was reasonably inexpensive. Now this one came from what was called a working environment, not from the fellow that I got it from wasn't using it, but he got it from someone who had been using it. So it should be in fairly good original working condition, although I am gonna go through it and rebuild it to make sure it's reliable. Unfortunately, it didn't include any probes, so I have to look for probes, but they're not too hard to come by. Ico was a pretty good size manufacturer of electronics, not only test equipment like the oscilloscope, but they made power supplies and signal generators, but they also made things like audio amplifiers and other equipment like that. So they were a pretty decent sized manufacturer. This is definitely a 1960s oscilloscope, and I'm not sure if there's a date code on here anywhere. It just is Ico model 435. Serial number is 3216. It's a DC wideband oscilloscope. And these typically, it was made in Flushing, New York. And these typically, these have a bandwidth of about, I think somewhere between four and six megahertz. They're not real high bandwidth models because that's not what they had in those days. But just to give you a little bit of an idea, there are some things that this is more suited for than using a modern digital oscilloscope. And sometimes when you're working on late 50s and early 60s equipment, sometimes you need late 50s and early 60s bench equipment to work on it, to do a really good job on it. So that's what this is gonna be for. There'll be more videos about this. I think I'm gonna do some rebuild videos about this because it's a sort of a general interest thing. So keep an eye open for more videos about the 435. I hope you found this interesting and maybe helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube because that always helps. There'll be a banner right here that shows you how to subscribe. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell or on the wheel, put in your email address, and every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification and you can watch it. That's all for today. See you on the next video.